Hi, um, good morning, good evening, uh, good day, everyone. Uh, my name is Alan Ren. Uh, I'm the general manager for VMware China R&D, and I'm also the uh, co-founder of uh, our um, open source community, uh, ACE, Co-Innovation Ecosystem. Today, I'd like to uh, share uh, with you the topic from multi-cloud to edge native, distributed, intelligent, and secure. First, a few uh, quick uh, points about uh, VMware. Uh, obviously, we are in uh, started with virtualization, going into software-defined data center, and now we are a uh, world-leading provider of multi-cloud software services for all applications. And we provide a digital innovation foundation for uh, enterprise uh, business and transformation. And we provide freedom and flexibility for developers, DevOps, and operation teams in uh, IT. Just a few uh, quick highlights. We're uh, close to a $12 billion revenue uh, last year, 500,000 customers worldwide, and 36,000 uh, employees in uh, 50 uh, countries uh, in the world. We are uh, no stranger to uh, open source. Here we bring a family of open source uh, projects uh, that uh, benefit the communities, uh, starting with uh, you know, uh, Cloud Foundry uh, for platform as a service, uh, Green Pump Database, the, one of the leading uh, open source uh, MPP, Massive Parallel Processing Database in the world. Spring, uh, the world uh, leading uh, Java framework, uh, as well as a couple Apache uh, projects uh, like Tomcat. And more recently, we have um, started to contribute to uh, cloud native computing, uh, such as a project Harbor, uh, which uh, was um, uh, created and incubated uh, from uh, VMware China uh, and contributed uh, by the China cloud native uh, open source community, as well as the number one, uh, the first uh, open source uh, project uh, from VMware uh, worldwide into cloud native. Uh, since then, we've also contributed uh, Contour, uh, BuildPack, uh, Entria for software defined network, as well as uh, uh, Valera uh, for data management and protection. Now, our uh, view of uh, the cloud and edge uh, era uh, starts uh, with the, some of the drivers uh, from uh, multi-cloud. We're actually seeing an explosion of demand for a compute. And it ranges from um, traditional and uh, cloud native and SaaS applications to um, mobile and distributed end users, uh, as well as the world of um, uh, industrial uh, IoT and the smart sensors. And add to that is uh, you know, artificial intelligence and uh, AI ML workload. With that um, explosion in demand, we see a drive towards uh, the multi-cloud uh, uh, era, uh, including you know, public cloud, telco cloud, uh, edge cloud, and uh, private cloud and traditional data centers. And there we see uh, huge uh, requirements, uh, very demanding requirements on increasing you know, elasticity on compute, uh, latency, and in terms of response time, as well as a, a, private a privacy uh, for data protection. Uh, at the same time, we are also seeing massive uh, application uh, migration, as well as a new generation of uh, new generation of um, applications uh, going from uh, the centralized uh, cloud uh, to uh, edge uh, native. We're also seeing the cloud native computing platform uh, extending and providing uh, lightweight uh, support uh, on the distributed edge. Uh, adding to that, uh, as I mentioned before, the industrial 4.0 uh, comes with not just cloud computing and edge computing, but also the modern connectivity uh, to uh, various uh, parts uh, of uh, the world, uh, as well as uh, uh, you know uh, next generation of endpoint devices and uh, new generation of edge and IoT applications. So on edge compute, uh, one data point from uh, WWT is that 75% of enterprise data uh, will be created uh, on the edge uh, outside the central cloud by 2025. And we see a new uh, type, uh, various new types of uh, um, edge uh, related apps, such as uh, latency sensitive apps, mission critical apps, and telemetry and uh, monitoring uh, apps, typically requiring response times uh, on the order of uh, tens of milliseconds compared to the uh, traditional centralized uh, compute, which is on the order of hundreds of milliseconds. 
However, the multi-cloud edge um, collaboration or uh, connectivity right now is a quite diverse and uh, a lot of silo environments growing uh, more complex uh, as we speak. We have the distributed users, edges, uh, various type of uh, applications, as well as uh, multiple uh, clouds and infrastructure. So what are we seeing as uh, the new generation of uh, requirements uh, supporting uh, multi-cloud and distributed edge? You know, we see on the developer side, consistent experience and productivity. On the operation side, support new generation of uh, edge native applications. We're also seeing the management of application performance and cost uh, life cycles from uh, various clouds and also consistent security and networking that can span from multi-cloud to distributed edge. And then of course we have the cloud agnostic edge native solutions that we uh, will need to deploy and manage. So from VMware's perspective, we uh, look at the cloud, uh, the edge categories as uh, the far edge, where is uh, the enterprise uh, locations, uh, cloud native application can run on edge compute stacks. And this include running on um, bare metal VMs, as well as new generation of uh, container uh, orchestration uh, platforms, uh, such as uh, SD-WAN uh, on Kubernetes, uh, as well as uh, you know, VMware's uh, container orchestration platform, uh, Tenzu Kubernetes Grid, TKG. And on the near edge is where uh, things are happening between customer premise and uh, private data centers, as well as uh, centralized clouds to deliver uh, edge native application as a service. And here we see um, VMware uh, POP, uh, telco uh, core and uh, radio access uh, networks are running uh, on top of uh, virtualized uh, environments, uh, container environments, uh, as well uh, as a, a telco uh, cloud uh, platforms. Now looking into the details of the, uh, the edge uh, supporting multi-cloud, we're seeing sort of three layers. The, Top layer, of course, is the uh, application itself for multiple industries. And then the overlay edge service that supply, uh, support SASE, secure access service edge, as well as uh, edge compute. And then the underlay uh, edge services are provided um, by uh, telco operators uh, supporting radio access networks, as well as uh, private uh, 5G. So what are the uh, VMware um, solutions uh, in the various uh, layers? Uh, first, we have the VMware uh, Tanzu platform uh, running uh, at the edge. Uh, I mentioned uh, it's um, you know, supporting uh, Tanzu uh, run, uh, manage, um, and also build uh, different uh, life cycles of the uh, application development and operation. Um, really uh, having the capability to run uh, just enough you know, lightweight Kubernetes uh, from the corporate data center or centralized clouds and uh, a fleet management at scale and being able to deploy and manage uh, application life cycles uh, on the uh, edge locations, whether it's a data center, which is um, robo or whether it is uh, closer uh, to uh, the uh, sensors and gateways in the industrial IoT world. And also being able to centralize um, in a SaaS control plane to have visibility monitoring and observability. And of course, a part of this is built uh, with Kubernetes uh, and uh, with uh, um, container registry like Harbor, uh, a lot of the open source contributions from VMware. And next, I would like to introduce to you uh, some uh, nice project we uh, call the uh, CAPB. It's a container uh, cluster API uh, provider, uh, bring your own host, and really is to uh, support Kubernetes native um, manifests and APIs, but it also supports local control plane of single or multiple nodes, and they can run on either physical or virtual machines of uh, deploy Linux. And we also have a nice demo uh, of the Tanzu Community Edition TCE uh, with the uh, bring your own host BYOH uh, on both x86 as well as ARM mixed cluster. Check out uh, our demo uh, with the YouTube uh, link uh, on, uh, on the slide. And of, of course it is uh, open source uh, under VMware Tanzu uh, on GitHub. 
and speaking of uh, Edge, I uh, want to mention the um, one of the uh, EdgeX Foundry uh, China project, which VMware and Intel China uh, co-maintain. And uh, we actually contributed uh, code ourselves in terms of UI and uh, Kubernetes support. And we actually uh, facilitate and enable uh, other uh, startups and enterprise partners uh, to contribute to the community as well, uh, including um, Equipper, Rules Engine from EMQ, uh, device uh, services from uh, Jiangxing, and then docs and code samples from uh, Thundersoft. Uh, in fact, it is the number one uh, country in terms of uh, visitors and downloads uh, for EdgeX uh, project globally. And we've recruited, you know, 20 plus contributors and partners and uh, trying to uh, co-innovate and accelerate uh, uh, with it, the uh, very, uh, very uh, vibrant uh, community. And uh, in our special interest group um, hosted uh, by a popular uh, social platform, uh, social network platform, WeChat, we have uh, 1300 uh, members uh, of uh, contributors, uh, users and partners. And because of our work uh, for uh, EdgeX Foundry, uh, we've uh, also partnered with the leading um, hyperscalers uh, in China to uh, expand, uh, to extend uh, Kubernetes uh, with uh, CRDs uh, to support EdgeX. And this is an example of uh, reference uh, implementation for um, Open uh, Yurt, which is uh, uh, one of the uh, cloud native uh, um, open source projects in CNCF. And uh, here you can see we can operate from control nodes uh, from multi-cloud, multi creating devices, OTA CRDs, uh, node shadows, and we can run uh, worker nodes on the edge in terms of adding devices, uh, tunnel agents, and to uh, support uh, various uh, edge, uh, edge uh, services. And so check out our implementation. Uh, GitHub uh, it is actually uh, in uh, RD uh, Cloud's uh, open yurt uh, open source project. And speaking of um, edge computing, uh, one thing to, to know is the, the requirements for uh, privacy computing and in terms of supporting uh, data protection uh, while uh, getting uh, smart uh, data models uh, from uh, these new generation of AI ML workloads. So uh, OMLP is an omnipresent machine learning platform solution that VMware is developing uh, to provide a multi-cloud and distributed uh, edge federated learning service. Okay, and it supports multiple uh, org, geo, location, and it can actually uh, support um, multi-cloud or distributed edge deployments and running uh, on uh, container and Kubernetes, uh, you know, control and uh, runtime. And here is, uh, again, a reference architecture uh, of uh, OMLP uh, in terms of uh, using a uh, FATE, another open source project by uh, contributed by WeBank to Linux Foundation. Uh, as the, as the uh, run, um, framework uh, runtime. But here also VMware contributed uh, the federal uh, manager for uh, data model uh, management, as well as the uh, FML lifecycle uh, management uh, for uh, participant um, lifecycle management in terms of um, various uh, clouds and also various uh, distributed edge. And here is really, you can using you know, local uh, encryption uh, to train the model um, and then uh, send and receive uh, the model to the coordinators and then uh, aggregate the encrypted uh, model uh, for a shared use uh, while uh, protecting uh, local data and uh, uh, providing uh, privacy computing uh, for business uh, intelligence. So uh, with all these uh, various uh, projects uh, on the multi-cloud side, as well as the uh, edge side, uh, we've really um, moved it one step further by uh, creating a open source developer community called uh, ACE, uh, which uh, stands for, on the technology side, artificial intelligence, cloud native and edge computing. But on the community side, it stands uh, for, uh, with a, a little bit of um, a twist on the <laughs> recursive naming, uh, ACE co-innovation ecosystem. And it is launched you know, by uh, VMware uh, in China uh, with other you know, leading uh, open source project leaders, uh, such as uh, Intel, uh, PingCap, uh, Kilogens uh, in the data side, um, EMQ on the, on the edge, uh, as well as a louder for a cloud native. So we aspire to be the co-enablers to serve and empower innovative organizations, enterprise or startup, and really to create a win-win uh, organic and symbiotic ecosystem from project to product 
and to profitable uh, business. And we also wanted to use this technology to drive uh, innovation for good, for environment, society, and governance. So just uh, really at the end, a quick snapshot of the ACE uh, co-innovation ecosystem. Right? We cover tech areas, uh, various industries in SaaS, and we provide, uh, again, the core uh, sort of uh, directions uh, and uh, uh, technology interests uh, in um, ML ops, uh, AI for software development lifecycle for AI, uh, privacy computing, I mentioned, general cognitive management platform, as well as a smart NIC and the software defined networking uh, for cloud native. And on the edge side, uh, I mentioned uh, EdgeX uh, Foundry for uh, device management. And we're also uh, looking at uh, edge native applications uh, with a better support. And we really uh, work with uh, you know, startups, uh, industry leaders, as well as academia and uh, uh, NGOs uh, with uh, their uh, technical uh, requirements. And the co-enablers uh, are our partners, including uh, venture capital uh, on the, capital, uh, on the um, corporate side, as well as on the uh, financial side. We work with uh, various incubators, as well as uh, world leading uh, open source foundations and associations, such as uh, uh, Linux Foundation and its uh, leading uh, soft foundations, uh, such as uh, uh, Edge and uh, AI and, and analytics, uh, as well as uh, CNCF. And uh, we partner uh, with all our co-enablers and uh, with various uh, developer and accelerator events, summits and forums, uh, we co-produce co industry reports and media coverage and uh, community matrix and collaboration. So really also want to like call for action uh, if uh, for the um, audience out there to uh, you know, uh, join us uh, either as users, contributors, or partners, and to uh, move uh, the e co innovation ecosystem ahead, particularly in uh, multi cloud and distributed edge. So, and to summarize some of the, the values we cherish and for our shared mission is a diversity, right? Uh, whether it's um, um, open source users, contributors, whether it's um, hyperscalers or startups, um, global enterprises. Uh, we want to uh, drive uh, from community to ecosystem, from project to product, really making it uh, organic and uh, symbiotic uh, to reach a win-win uh, for the ecosystem and also for our users and customers. And, uh, and uh, last but not the least is really the force for good. We really uh, like to you know, har harness uh, open source, uh, open cloud technology to be a, a driving force uh, for good, you know, for our environment, for our society and for our uh, social uh, governance. So with that, uh, thank you uh, okay. for uh, your listening and uh, we are happy to uh, uh, have a, a, a few uh, Q&As. Yeah, no, very good, very good. Yep. Uh, thank you very much, Alan. If you can stop sharing, we can be on, on the screen sure. together. Um, there you go. All right, yep. very good. So first all right. of all, thank you for covering so many topics and we really appreciate the work you're doing on the community side. Um, I do also want to point out that, you know, it's fascinating to see the WeChat group and the, uh, uh, the EdgeX Foundry, uh, you know, downloads and things like that. There's one, I, I know we are a little bit over time. Um, I think um, there's a question uh, on open collaboration outside China. Uh, and I would probably say that that's already happening in local meetups and things like that, uh, you know, led by multiple organizations. So that's a very good uh, question as well as, as comment, it is happening. Uh, but with that, I think we have a 10 minute break because I think we are almost four minutes okay. over if that's okay with you. Okay, sure. Yeah, and just a quick note on the question from Will that we are uh, actually opening up uh, although it's something started in China, is really for the world in terms of the, the ACE uh, co-innovation ecosystem Correct. and all the open source projects. So uh, really, uh, we'll uh, have uh, some you know English additions, you know uh, uh, time zone you know friendly uh, events for uh, EU and the US. So uh, welcome all to join. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you very much. So okay. we are in for a bio break. Thank you very much, Al. Okay. Thank you, Abit. Uh,